This podcast is brought to you by ICT4D.at and inspired by Farm Radio. Hello, listener. This is Podcast Farms, How to Podcast. This is your host, Lydia, with my co-host, Juliana. And Noah. It's all about kickstarting your podcast journey from beginning to the end. We'll all be taking turns diving deeper into different aspects of podcasting. Welcome to another heartwarming episode of Podcast Farm, where we embark on a delightful journey of nurturing your very own podcast. Join us as we sow the seeds of creativity, cultivate your ideas, and watch them bloom into captivating episodes. In our previous episode, Lydia took us on a fascinating journey through the art of framing your podcast. If you missed it, be sure to catch up on that episode. But today, we are shifting gears and diving into the realm of podcasting equipment and software. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by discussing recording software, a crucial component for your podcasting toolkit. No turbo choices like Audacity, GarageBand, and Adobe Audition provide user-friendly interfaces that facilitate seamless recording, editing, and mixing of your podcast episodes. There is a whole symphony of alternatives to choose from available to aspiring podcasters such as WavePad, Podium, Soundforge, Fruity Loop Studio, also known as FL Studio, Ableton Live, and Logic Pro X. What's even more exciting is that this list is just a sneak peek of the options available. Whether you are budget conscious or ready to splurge, there is a software out there that suits your style. Some might be free downloads while others come with a price tag, a testament to the diverse range of features and functionalities they offer. So as you embark on your podcasting journey, take the time to explore these software choices, find the one that resonates with your creative flow and let your podcasting masterpiece come to life. In my workflow, I use GarageBand, while my other colleagues prefer to work with Audacity and other recording softwares. What truly matters, though, is the proficiency with which you harness the capabilities of the tools you choose. Remember, quality audio is key to engaging your listeners. Next, we have remote recording software. In an era of virtual collaborations, Tools like Zencaster and Squadcast ensure crystal clear audio during remote interviews. They also provide separate audio tracks for each speaker, making post-production editing a breeze. As we are currently not physically together in Austria, we are exploring the possibility of using Zencaster platform to record our podcast collaboratively in the upcoming days. This exciting endeavor will allow us to share our experiences of utilizing a virtual collaboration platform to create our podcast content. Let me tell you a story. Back in the day, we rocked those audio cassette players. You could groove to tunes and even lay down your own vocal masterpiece. Certain cassettes held enchanting stories and insightful discoveries that etched themselves into my memory. Back then, Recording your voice onto this cassette meant committing to the moment. There were no software interfaces to correct errors or exercise undesired segment. Despite these limitations, the experience was a joyous one, capturing one's voice, be it in the form of a music or a casual chat with a friend, was an exciting endeavor. Now, let's pivot our narrative to the world of podcasting and the modern marvels of tech equipment. How do we translate our ideas, messages, and visions into the auditory landscape of today? First on the list is a microphone. A good quality microphone significantly improves your audio, 
There are three types of microphones, dynamic microphones, condenser microphones, and reverb microphones. Here are a couple of microphones you can use in recording your podcast. Blue Yeti, Rode PodMic, Audio Technica, Samsung Q2U, and Shure SM7B. Or you can opt for a lapel microphone or even use your mobile phones for recording your podcast. Once you can get a good sound out of it, go for it. Remember to select a microphone that suits your recording environment and budget. Next is headphone. Invest in a comfortable pair of closed back headphones to monitor audio quality while recording and editing. Brands like Samsung, JBL, Shenhisa, and uh, Biodynamic offer great options for different price ranges. You can use any brand of headphones that gets the work done. Moving on to mixes and audio interfaces, when it comes to managing interviews with multiple guests or gaining more control over your podcast audio quality, mixes and audio interfaces step into the spotlight. Example of mixes are Rode Rodecaster Pro, Byringa Zenx, Q802 USB, ProSonos Studio Life, Zoom Pro Track P4, Yamaha AG03. For audio interface, Focusrite, Apollo Solo, SSL2 Plus, Audient ID4, ProSonos Revelator, and uh, M Audio Air. Whether you choose a mixer or an audio interface depends on your specific needs. Mixers are great for real-time audio control during recordings, while audio interfaces are ideal for capturing high-quality sound directly to your computer. It's all about finding the right tool that fits your podcasting style and go. Another equipment is the handheld recorders. These handheld recorders offer a variety of features, including built-in microphones, SLR input, adjustable recording quality. They are great options for capturing high-quality audio on the go without the need for computer or additional equipment. Examples are Zoom H5 Handy Recorder, Sony PCM D10 Portable Audio Recorder, Roland R04 uh, Portable Audio Recorder. Lastly, pop filters and boom amps. A pop filter minimizes explosive sounds, while a boom amp frees up deck space and allows you to position your microphone at the optimal distance. You don't necessarily need all this stuff in your podcast journey if you don't have a budget. And with that, you are equipped with your very own podcasting hardware starter package it's like building a spaceship to audio awesomeness. Just remember, while it won't be one green cassette tapes, you'll be spinning stories that are out of this world. As I wrap up, here are some few quick tips for newbie podcasters. Practice, practice, practice. Familiarize yourself with your equipment and recording techniques before launching. Consistency is key. Edit thoughtfully, clean up audio, remove mistakes, and ensure a polished final product. Engage with your listeners. Social media and listener feedback can provide valuable insight and help your podcast grow. And there you have it. All the essential tech equipment you need for your exciting podcasting journey. There are tons and tons of softwares and equipment out there. Remember, while having quality gear enhances your podcast, content remains king. So go out there, share your passion, and let your voice be heard in the ever-expanding world of podcasting. Thanks for joining us on Podcast Farm. You don't want to miss the next episode to come. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to Podcast Farm's How to Podcast. Before we wrap up today's episode, I wanted to remind you about some valuable resources and ways to stay engaged. First off, if you found today's conversation inspiring and want to dig deeper, be sure to check out our detailed show notes. And if you're eager to explore the articles, books, 
websites we discussed. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Head over to ict4d.at under podcast form to access a curated list of all the resources we mentioned today. And lastly, if you know someone who would benefit from the knowledge shared on this episode, don't hesitate to share with them. Your recommendation can make a positive impact on their learning journey. Before I go, here's a sneak peek from our next episode where I'll discuss personas and structuring your podcast. There are many personas you can adapt when you're considering creating your own podcast. You can have an educational podcast that aims to teach listeners about specific subjects or topics, or an interview-based podcast, which features interviews with guests, experts, or individuals sharing their experiences and insights. Well, everyone, that's a wrap for today. Remember, the learning doesn't stop here. Dive into those show notes, explore the resources, and join us on our next episode.